I'm John Bowden as we open up another series, this time a band we have not covered on this channel. And as I think of it now, I'm not sure why. It's crazy. They're an amazing band with a huge body of work. Fish was their original lead singer. He left to go solo. But one guy's been there all along, Steve Rothery. And he's our guest. The brand new album is called An Hour Before It's Dark. And I freaking love this record. It's an amazing record. It's very progressive. But there's so much going on. And Steve is very proud of this one. Here's our interview with Steve Rothery of Marillion. I'm John Bowden. This is Rock History Music. Remember, this is just part one, but if you want to see the entire interview with Steve Rothery, it's on our sister channel, Rock History Book. There'll be links to it in the description of this video. Also links to Marillion, where you can grab the brand new album, An Hour Before It's Dark. Amazing record. Here's Steve Rothery. Did you really have to change the name because J.R.R. Tolkien? Uh, no, it was just we wanted something maybe a little bit less obvious. Less uh, syllables. Yeah, and... and um, we had various flight cases that had been uh, stenciled with Silmarillion. So we thought, well, we could just get rid of the sill and, you know, <laughs> can still use the cases. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I think it's, it's, uh, it's a good, it's a good day. Um, yeah. There was a big question mark when Steve Hogarth joined the band, whether or not we should change the name. And uh, I didn't really feel that we had to, because it's, you know, I think I'm proud of everything that the band's achieved throughout our career. So, uh, for me, Steve joining was just another another chapter in that story. Hey, congratulations on the new album. Thank Very you. good. Love that first single, that three piece first. That's like a ah, grand, grand, grand piece. And I know the 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 theme of the album, which is much needed. And thank you for doing that because sometimes artists just they they don't want to go there with this obvious thing that's happening to the planet. Tell me about the impetus of this, getting this together. Yeah, well, I mean it's very different sort of album really to try and write and record an album during a pandemic um maybe took slightly longer than it would have done but uh, mike hunter our producer did a, an amazing job and worked tirelessly to uh, to to pull it together uh we'd we'd done some writing together before the pandemic pandemic hit really so um then there was a period of time when the band did some work without me because i was shielding and then we could work together again um, and then uh, we all had to work from home for a couple of months uh, during the lockdown. Um, and then, thankfully, we could we could uh, get back together in the studio again. So it was kind of a bit stop and start, the whole creative process on this record. Uh, and I know Steve originally didn't want to write about the pandemic. Um, but I mean, that's, you can't help but but be affected when you're living through that this kind of moment in history, really. So, yeah, I mean, it comes through in several songs. Uh, obviously, the whole, um, you know, global warming, um, destroying our planet um, thing that kind of comes through as well um, in uh, in various places. So, yeah, that, that's, that's just how, how Steve tends to write, really. He's very much affected by whatever's happening. I noticed that uh, uh, on your Facebook, you posted a picture. I'm not sure because, you know, you lose track of time during yeah, this yeah. time. I work out of my house anyway. I do a radio show over here. My YouTube channel does really well. But you lose track of time. You had posted a picture of yourself when you were either thick in your 20s or something like that. And at the same time, I was doing that. And a lot of people were doing that because they're going through their closets. They're finding old things. And I mean, you look like a dude, man. And I remember going, I used to look like a dude too. Like, what the <laughs> yeah, what, what, yeah, we're all young ones, you know. <laughs> what's that feeling like though? Because I, I, we just moved here from across the country. We're in Calgary and we just moved here to the East Coast where I grew up. And right. by doing so, I'm finding all these old pictures because we have to throw out stuff. And that's what you do. But I find myself, and I want to ask you this for a reason. I, I find myself looking at old pictures. I'm like, well, and I'm, I'm looking at that guy. I'm going, what did he believe in? And what, who was that guy? Do you ever do that? I mean, especially with that one picture you posted, I remember going, yeah, I remember that version of you. Cause we're none of us are that version of ourselves anymore. It's impossible. Well, no, absolutely. I mean, this is a 43rd year I've been in Marillion. So it would be, uh, I'd need a picture up in the attic really to, to, to look the same. Um, yeah, no, you just got to uh, enjoy each moment in your life really as, as it comes around. And, uh, it's just, it's a funny thing when you've been doing this for so long, you know, most bands, if they kind of win, win the lottery, if they get to make a record, you know, but to be here 
18 albums later still doing it it's just a it's a miracle really so yeah did you find this album because of covid did you find uh uh did you find it easier because you just had the time um for me the the big difference is when there was a period of time when i couldn't work with the band um I, you know i could do some work at home i have my uh, a studio here at home uh, but then when we could all get together with the five of us again, five of us again, it was just a, a fantastic feeling, you know, like a, a freedom to do, to do the thing that um, I love doing more than anything else. You know, it's like music has, has been my life uh, for as long as I can remember. And, and to be able to work within Marillion, you know, we have a very special chemistry between the five of us and, uh, and there's, you know, there's no sign of that ever stopping, which is an amazing thing after all this, uh, time so yeah it's just a great to be able to express things in music really which was uh it was quite cathartic i think at times during this process that's steve rothery of the band marillion their brand new album an hour before it's dark is now out it's an amazing record there'll be links to marillion in the description of this video also links to the entire interview if you enjoyed this you want to see this whole thing it's on our sister channel make sure you comment on our video subscribe to our channel and share our videos i'm john Bowden. this is rock history music